together. If you're a school district that provides Chromebooks with touchscreen displays, as well as enables the Google Play Store, then one of the great tools that can be offered to you as a teacher is the capability of using the mobile version of Google Classroom. And I'll talk about why here in a second. So first things first, I need to download Google Classroom. And I'll go ahead and install it. And the first time you open it, it may not be full screen. That's quite all right. You'll notice that I now have two Google Classroom icons. One has the Chrome icon, and then one has a circle around it, symbolizing that this is a, an Android app. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, choose my account, and then I'm in. If I want this to be full screen, I can go full screen. It may restart the app, though. And then if I... I'm wanting to take advantage of the fact that I'm using the mobile version of Google Classroom. I'll show you an example. So let's say I go to my classwork page here and I go to an assignment that a student has completed. Then I can see that assignment. And when I open it in the Android app, Then what I can see is the preview of it. I don't see it in its slides or its docs format, but just basically almost like a PDF copy instead. So what I'm going to do now is press on this pencil icon. And what this will actually allow me to do is it'll allow me to use uh, a stylus or I could use my finger on a touch screen to write over the top of the student work like so and give feedback. This is a great way that I can write directly on it and then have it turned right back into the student so that they could view it. And any of these items that I want to move around, I can use this object to move it around. Same with the handwriting portions. I can adjust and resize accordingly, like so. Uh, I have a nice little eraser here that I can utilize. It erases quickly. Just many pens that I can choose from. This is more of a highlighter. So when I tap on the pen after it's been selected once, then I'm able to adjust the color as well as the size. That goes for every single one of these. And then I can change pages if there's multiple pages on these documents, like so. So then I can give feedback. And point at specific things. And then when I'm all done giving feedback to that student, then I can go ahead and save it using the disk icon up there, even though students today don't know what those are. And then what the Android app will do is it'll save it as a separate PDF file and give it to the student. Now, it's not going to edit the original document. It'll just give a PDF version of the slides or docs or sheets uh, that was turned in. It does not affect the original. So if I click on the original, Nothing changed. Let me hit the back arrow. If I click on the PDF file, it's going to have my annotations over the top of it. And if I go back and I hit the pencil again on this version, it'll let me edit even more. But if again, if I hit the save button, then what it does is it just edits the existing PDF. It doesn't add a second PDF, just the existing one, so that any updates that I give are given on that file. When I'm ready for the next student, I would see those students listed right over here on the left hand side. I'd be able to click on that student and click on their document. And then again, click on the pencil icon so that way I can quickly give handwritten feedback. So this is a great feature in the Android app of Google Classroom. And I think if you have a touchscreen Chromebook, especially one that has a fine tip stylus, then I would recommend trying it out.